Hey guys, how you doing? This is Mindset Section. I'm here to bring the review for Planet with episode number two. So we start things off with the organizations that the heroes work for. I was going to say the seven heroes, but technically it's now the six heroes because one of them lost their powers. But we start things off, we have a meeting and they discuss where things are going to um, take off um, from here, how they're going to operate from, um, from here on out. And it's suggested like, you know, when they're dealing with these situations, when they go off, they go off in pairs. That's what we see within this episode. But I think the most important thing to come out of this bit in this episode will be find out that the firefighter hero, um, he can't remember the faces of the people that attacked him. So it's probably Sensei who has the power, but he can like disrupt memories and all of that sort. So, well, another thing that came out during the scene that I'm quite interested about is the hint. Um, not the hint towards, um, okay, so basically what I'm talking about is when that girl, I can't remember her name, jokes about how oh, the weakest one of them was taken out, and then we have, like, the secretary say, well, he's the f on one of you, uh, one out, he's the one out of the seven of you who has the highest values, and then the old man asks, so, okay, what's the strongest taken out, and we don't get a direct response to that, so I'm kind of iffy on that, I'm trying to understand that whole concept right there is he the strongest is he the weakest kind of thing it's always the weakest to get taken that person it's probably the weakest of the of this of the seven but i don't think it really matters too tough so within this episode i thought that we would have got more of direct more direct um feedback on what exactly Sawyer is feeling at this present moment of time. What exactly did he think he remembers? But we don't get that, on, and which was quite a surprise to me, actually. But we do get hints to what he's thinking. Now, he mentions avenging someone. So I'm guessing that what he feels like is that these six, well, six now, these seven heroes killed someone or multiple people that saw a um, that Sawyer cared about, or possibly that he that he feels that they're responsible for the deaths of someone or some people that he cared about, and that's why he wants to get this event revenge, sorry, rather. So we learn within this episode that Sensei and this girl, the maid girl, are part of Nebula. But we what we find out within this episode is that they work within two fractions. Uh, I think it was the ceiling faction and the pacifist faction, but we found out that the ceiling faction, which is the ones that have been sending out all these monsters of the week, so I'm going to call them, um, they're the ceiling faction, and they basically found out that Nebula, the ceiling faction, feels like humanity has evolved to a point where it's just too much, which I've got this far, so Quoting what the anime says, they said they're going to seal seal away humanity. I prefer feel like they should say they're going to kill all of humanity. Where we have, but they might not be, but they might not be. I'm um, trying to do that. They might actually be trying to seal them. But that's the kind of vibe that I'm getting here. You know, killing off the earth kind of vibe. Made more sense as well. And then we have the pacifist, which is Sensei and this girl, and obviously Sawyer as well, because he's helping them trying to confiscate the power away from them so humanity can you know, grow at a more steady pace and that's why they're after the seven heroes to, to steal the powers because they got the power though that's the kind of vibe that i'm getting there so also another vibe based on what we've got from the first two episodes i feel like it's going to be it's i feel like that this series and i hope it doesn't because then it'll be boring is going to follow a certain pattern uh, the seven heroes take out someone from the ceiling factor, and then therefore Soya Kun and Sensei and everyone will take out the, that hero that the episode focused on. Because last week focused on the firefighter, this week focused on the little girl, one of the little what is it two little girls or one of the one of the little girls, and then she was then later on defeated. So that brings me to the end of the episode where we see everybody else from the organization from the um of the everyone from the hero organization crashing down, surrounding Soya, and it seems like, oh my gosh, Soya is in the predicament that he might not be able to get out of. I don't know how, but I do think he's going to get out of this predicament. And then the later on the episodes will follow the same format, like I said, 
every week being another hero being defeated and that would leave the last, if this is a 12 episode series, the last five episodes to like wrap up that plot because there'll be some plot that's hinted at or just giving little bits and pieces of during these times and know to have that have five more episodes just to wrap it up afterwards after that so that's where I think we are heading right now but I, I hope I really do hope that it um doesn't follow that formula because it will be somewhat boring if it does so I think that's everything I got to say about this episode I'm going to give it a three star rating and call it a few like always guys I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions if you haven't already please go to my YouTube channel but most importantly take care have a nice day Thank you.